Now joined by the driver of number one, Dasco Racing Supply, Devin Gilpin, number 23 tonight here at Moeller Raceway Park. On an uncharacteristic Moeller, got a little slick there towards the end of the race. How was the car tonight, Devin? Oh, man, the impressive car was great tonight. You know, uh, the, what do you expect? You know, 110 degree weather, you know, for the past three or four days. And uh, kind of got a black and slick uh, bottom dominant tonight. I was pretty much married to the bottom. But uh, one of the first couple restarts there, uh, I, I had Weasel passed on the outside and got to the bottom and then caution after caution after caution we went single file and then uh, finally got by him on a single file restart and uh, just kind of tried to save my stuff, save my tires and be there at the end and it, it all paid out, paid off. Yeah, there sure were a lot of cautions there at the beginning of the race that didn't seem like we were ever going to get more than two laps in at a time. Uh, there at the beginning is just caution. You run a lap, caution. You run a lap, caution. You weasel every restart battling real hard there, and then you seem to get around him, and then we get a caution before we get a lap in. It seemed like every time I'd get around him, as soon as I'd have him cleared to the bottom, a, a caution would come out, and I started to get aggravated, man. Uh, I thought there was a two spin caution rule. If you spun twice, you know you go to the pits, but uh, I guess there wasn't tonight. And, uh, you know, like I said, I was starting to get aggravated, but once it went green, I kind of started settling in and uh, just got in a rhythm, and and it all paid off. Uh, I promise it's not me. It's my race car, man. My race car is just that good, and uh, it's been good about anywhere we go. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're here at Moeller or Florence or Terre Haute. It's just been a good piece all season, and I can't be uh, more happy enough with that impressive race car. Well, I'll tell you this. There's only two cars that actually spun twice. The rest of them was like a bunch of other cars that just spun once. Okay, man. well... well Whatever it was, I like I said, that was probably the longest 20 laps I'd ever been a part of in my life. And uh, thank God we filled it up full of fuel, so I made weight at the end. But uh, like I said, just a good night. Um, looking forward to going to Portsmouth, Ohio tomorrow and hopefully uh, get another win. I say you proved the naysayers wrong there on the internet uh, saying you can't win in a slick track. Here we are, three races in a row on slick tracks. Florence and the AMS on Saturday. You got a Putnam Bill Tuesday and here tonight at Moeller. I'd say they're pretty much wrong on you can't win on a slick track. I think they are. I mean, but like I said, it, it's really not me. I, you're, a, I'm a firm believer. You're only as good as your car, and my car's just been that good all year. Really, uh, I prefer it being slick. Uh, the slicker, the better for me right now. My car's just that much better on the slick, and uh, but uh, you know, it just it is what it is. People's gonna say what they want to say, but uh, like I said, it's just that impressive race car. It's just been that good. And, can't thank Donnie Jumper enough from St. Louis, Missouri at Impressive Race Cars for, uh, for giving me a great piece to drive. All right, go ahead and thank all your sponsors. They'll be help you every week and uh, get you these 23 wins. Yeah, I got a bunch of them, man, and I couldn't do it without each and every one of them. We got a first and foremost Dasco Race Supply out of Brownstown, Indiana. That's my grandfather. Without that guy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here. And uh, An impressive chassis is Donnie Jumper from St. Louis, Missouri. Like I said, he builds an awesome piece. Mike Shell Race Engines from Waverly, Ohio, just up the road here, builds me a great motor. Uh, All-Star Performance, uh, Lyndon Larry Dunn at A1 Pallet from Evansville, Indiana, stepped on board last season. and What they've done for me has just been amazing. I, I can't thank them enough for everything they do. Tomcat Performance, Terry England Motorsports, Robert and Son Aluminum, Blondie's Pizzeria and Pub in Brownstown, Indiana. Um, I hope I didn't forget anybody, but just everybody that helps me out, man, I can't thank them enough. All right, Devin, it was a great run tonight. Three in a row now here. Coming starting Saturday, Tuesday, and now tonight. You going anywhere Sunday? Racing, we racing uh, tomorrow. We're, we're going to go to Portsmouth, Ohio tomorrow for the Lucas Show. And then uh, next Wednesday, we're going to go up to Shady Hill for the 3,000 to win on the 4th of July. And then be back here um, on Friday. And then next week, we're going to race all week. We're going to go to it's either Florence or Brush Creek first. And then then uh, the Florence Brush Creek Terre Haute on Thursday and then back here. So I got a busy week coming up. Just try to get everything ready to go and uh, hopefully have a good next couple weeks. Well, good luck the rest of the year. Congratulations on tonight. Can't wait to see you back here again. Appreciate it, man. Thank you guys. Thanks to DRC. You guys do awesome work, man, and uh, get us out there and promote us. Uh, I appreciate all the, all the good stuff you guys do for us. Thank you. Thanks, man.